Hey everyone, welcome back to the final, final video in this video series, an introduction to ArcGIS Survey123. I'm Jenny Sauer. I'm a mobile solutions specialist with USDA APHIS PPQ and User Tools Group, and I'm proud of you for making it this far. I myself feel good about getting to the end of this series, and this means that you have officially had an introduction to ArcGIS Survey123. This video is going to serve as kind of a summary to conclude and, and bring together everything you should have learned by watching all of these videos. Again, I recommend you just watch it through one time, and after that you might kind of pick and choose things you want to see as a review. But if you've made it through to this far, there's also a quiz, and this quiz is the one way that your supervisor could know that you've completed this course. For me, the quiz is a nice way to kind of review things and make sure you know all of the pieces. It's broken down into sections just like the videos, so there's one or two questions per video, and you can go back to the videos and watch them if you need to review and make sure that you have the answers. But let's go over them together right now. What is ArcGIS Survey123? Remember, it's a form-centric data collection application that also happens to record your location. And you can find information on it from the Mobile Data Collection Tools website, which hosts a support document called ArcGIS Survey123 Getting Started Guide. Have a look at that if you ever need to learn any, any piece of this puzzle. Next, we talked about installing the application. You can install the ArcGIS Survey123 application one time. Once it's done, it's kind of done. It's available on desktop and mobile device alike, and the application is free. Enterprise sign-in is a little tricky for some. You're going to need an e-authentication level 2 from HR. You're going to need your supervisor's help requesting access, and you're going to need to obtain a user account. From there, you want to keep track of your username and password because sometimes you'll be asked to sign in again. For the most part, as you saw, Survey123 holds on to that sign-in. Next up, we talked about downloading surveys. Remember that surveys listed for download will show up as available to you only if they've been shared with you. You can access that list of surveys available for you from your profile and then select Download Surveys. To complete a survey form, you should watch this training video series and have a basic knowledge of Survey123. Be sure of survey protocol before approaching a form. There may be nuances you need to know on how to fill it out. Review your PEST program specific manual, which is specific to that Survey123 app if it was configured for your PEST program. And be sure your location services is on if you're on a mobile device. Once you've finished entering data, you want to check through map location if it's enabled, required fields, look at hints, be sure that typos and errors are checked over, and again, be sure you've followed survey protocol. Sometimes an inbox is enabled. If the inbox is enabled, you should consult your PEST program manual on how best to use it. Also, the inbox comes along with a disconnected workflow. You'll have to hit that refresh button before and after, so the beginning of each day and the end of each day. Not every survey has an inbox enabled. To submit a survey, you may have the option available to send now or save this survey in the outbox. That appears based on whether you are connected to Wi-Fi. If connected to Wi-Fi, you can send it now. If not, you save it to an outbox. The outbox is like writing in your diary. It's saved just to the device. So at the end of the day, once you can connect to Wi-Fi again, you need to go to the outbox and send all of those surveys that have been saved to the outbox. 
Finally, remember that all of the examples that I gave you in these videos are just examples. They're training versions of surveys, there's no sensitive information involved, and your survey could look different. Your survey will not look exactly like the ones demonstrated in this video, but I tried to give you all the things you may or may not see so that you'd know about them and they wouldn't come as a shock. Now it's quiz time. Good luck.